The film kicks off by showcasing some legendary moon creatures who, during their enchanting dances, channel their powerful energy down to Earth. This magical event causes people with Wolfman genes to undergo a remarkable transformation, gaining incredible strength. Amidst all this, we meet a playful little moon creature named Mopo. Unlike the other creatures, Mopo is a bit of a troublemaker and prefers to do his own thing. He dreams of joining the dance one day, so he tries to copy the movements of the other creatures. To his surprise, he manages to perform a small part of the ritual and sends a bit of energy to Earth. However, Mopo soon spots a wolf named Max, who is greedily absorbing energy and demanding even more. Max's hunger for power grows so intense that she nearly captures Mopo. Just in time, Mopo's mother steps in to save him and stop the situation from getting worse. This moment sets the stage for the film's main character, Freddy Lupin, who introduces us to his father, Flashert Lupin, and his uncle Hotspur, who has a dark past. Freddy also has his best friend, Batty, by his side as they navigate their adventures together. Freddy reveals that he wants to be the leader of the group, or at least train to be one. In a tough situation, the older and more experienced wolves take charge, but Freddy is not the type to just sit back. He has a strong urge to help, so even though he's not very experienced, he jumps right into action. Freddy and Batty find themselves on top of a balloon as the pack of wolves faces new challenges. They start to notice that humans are everywhere, which is a big problem because the wolves want to keep their existence a secret. While trying to control the balloon, Freddy and Batty accidentally save a group of people. But when they return home, they discover that the whole incident was shown on the news and everyone saw what looked like a pink dog. Feeling embarrassed by how silly everyone thinks the situation is, Freddy decides to pull away from the group since he still doesn't feel fully accepted. Then Batty tries to cheer him up by reminding him that he is a hero and no one can take that away from him. This encouragement helps Freddy regain some of his confidence, especially when he looks at a mural that shows the moon giving powers to Werewolf. Determined to prove himself, Freddy sets off to find the special place where the Invocation Stone is kept. This stone was once used to contact the moon creatures for guidance. Eventually, Freddy and his friend arrive at the Invocation Stone, and Freddy starts to call upon the creatures, sharing his struggles. He explains how hard he has worked, yet he still feels he cannot gain the respect of the group. But the creatures do not see this as a serious problem and brush off his worries. In an effort to help, Mopo, one of the little creature, begins to dance and sends some of his energy to Freddy. Interestingly, some of this energy also travels down to Earth. As Freddy receives the spark, he begins to transform into a larger wolf, which excites Batty. But she worries that the creatures should not be helping Freddy in this way and believes they should teach him patience and self-control instead. Despite her concerns, she only hopes that the creatures make the right choice, seeing how happy Freddy is with his transformation. Soon after, in this process, Mopo also lands on Earth in a physical form and reunites with Freddy and Batty. He starts to mimic Freddy's actions, which causes Freddy to panic and accidentally frighten Mopo. Freddy quickly apologizes, making amends with Mopo and expressing his gratitude for the assistance he received. As they prepare to say goodbye to Mopo, they wish him a safe journey back to the moon. However, Mopo suddenly realizes that he doesn't actually know how to get back. Meanwhile, Flashert talks to the group, reassuring them that even though Freddy is small, he has the heart of a true wolf and will grow into a strong leader over time. Just as he's saying this, Freddy makes a big entrance, showing off his new look. At first, he enjoys all the attention, but soon he notices that everyone is actually staring at Mopo, who has followed him. Everyone is shocked to see Mopo. Freddy got trapped and now he has to tell the truth about Mopo. The group jumps to the conclusion that Freddy did this like another wolf named Max, reminding them of a time when a small werewolf like Freddy also wanted every time attention, but his weakness every time lost him. For that one day, he asked the moon creatures for power. After that, he ended up being consumed by evil, just like Max did at the start of the story. Luckily, the moon creature stepped in and took away her ability to transform into a wolf as punishment for her greed. Freddy reassures them that he won't end up like that, but now there's a new problem. Mopo doesn't know how to get back to the moon. 
Freddy suggests they find Max since she knows a spell and has a portal, but the others warn him that it's a risky idea. They fear that if Mopo gets caught by Max, it could be a disaster for everyone. Worried for Mopo's safety, they decide to lock him away so no one can find him. In the meantime, Mopo runs off and Freddy is put on hold from his duties. During this time, Flasher tells everyone that Mopo only has one week left, so they need to hurry if they want to save him. In the meantime, Freddy finds Mopo on the top of their building. Mopo wants to get back to the moon, but he can't. Freddy also chases him to save his life. After a long chase, he got him. Now, Freddy is determined to help Mopo, so he secretly with his friend Batty starts a mission to find Max. Because only Max can create a portal that goes on moon. Now, he gets some dog friends to help him, and they lead him to a sanctuary. But just as they are about to start to find Max, the other wolves also show up here. Now they start to run away from here. In the chaos, they come back into a human society. For this, Freddy also gets back into his human form. After all this, they keep following the dog's direction. After taking a few wrong turns, they finally arrive at a strange place, and this place looks very creepy. After walking a long time, they find many traps on their way, and a weird energy blocks their way. Luckily, Mopo uses his powers to clear the path. Meanwhile, Flashert and the rest of the group have figured out where Freddy is going and are chasing after him. Freddy and his friends keep moving, and we see him change back into a wolf. However, things get worse when they notice that Mopo's energy is running low. Freddy realizes that being close to Mopo makes him lose energy even faster, so they decide to keep some distance. That night, while they rest, Mopo has a vivid dream that everyone also can see. In the dream, they understand how much Mopo misses his mom, but before they can think about it too much, they are suddenly attacked by a giant bat. Then in a heroic move, Freddy goes to fight with the bat. But soon, he realizes that he is not able to fight with this giant bat. After that, they start running away from this bat, and the bat also chasing behind them. After a long chase, they are now attacked by various types of creatures. Fortunately, the leader of the area, Max in his human form, shows up and stops the chaos. Max takes a moment to check things out, and she thinks they are spies. Then Freddy steps forward, pretending to be on Max's side. He even claims that he wants power from the moon creatures. And in the process, he will turn down a creature, so he will get revenge on it. Max, curious about Freddy's story, decides to test him by asking him to betray his friends. Then Freddy acts like he harms his friends, and to see this Max believes him. Meanwhile, Mopo, who has been sleeping, wakes up and mistakenly thinks his all friends are dead. <coughs> on the other hand, Freddy starts to see that he and Maxi have more in common than he thought, they both just want respect. The main difference is that Max used dark magic to gain strength. The next day, Mopo accidentally absorbs energy from one of Max's creatures, causing him to lose control and making things even more tense. Freddy then changes back into his human form, ready to learn all the black spells and magic from Max. At the same time, Batty is being chased by a giant bat. Then Batty becomes very feared, but soon realizes it just wants to play with her. Now, she manages to scare it off with a rock. While all this is happening, Max starts teaching Freddy how to use the Earth's power to cast spells. On the other side, Mopo, now completely out of control, is draining energy from everyone around him. Over the next few hours, Freddy quickly learns to harness the Earth's energy, and Batty becomes friends with the bat, but Mopo's situation keeps getting worse. Eventually, Freddy feels ready to tackle the hardest spells, but Max warns him that using too much magic can mess with your mind, just like it did to her, causing her to lose everything she cared about. She urges Freddy to be patient, mentioning that his excitement reminds her of someone from her past. Freddy asked who was that. Then Max replied it was me. That night, Freddy discovers the source of Max's knowledge. He waits for the right moment to look for the portal spell and realizes there are many more secrets hidden in the library. After that, Max leaves from there and Freddy starts doing spells like Max. And he also gained a little bit of success. Because of his success, he becomes very happy. Meanwhile, Batty finds her friends again and proudly introduces them to her new friend, the huge bat. In the meantime, Mopo drains some of the bat's energy, 
causing the bat to fly away. Mopo then hears Freddy's sound from the distance, then they hurry to him. Together, they start to tap into the Earth's energy and celebrate their success. But Batty is worried because she sees that this powerful energy is changing them in strange ways. They soon realize that Mopo is running out of time. But in the meantime, Max arrives and quickly assesses the situation, knowing that Freddy has been using her to help Mopo return to the moon. Freddy tries to explain to Max that she needs friends since she seems lonely. Max argues that her creatures are her companions, but it becomes clear that they are more of a scary burden than true friends. Freddy steps in to cheer Max up, convincing her to help them. Surprisingly, Max agrees, but warns Freddy that they need to work together to cast the spell, which requires a lot of focused energy. They start the ritual, and Max warns that once the portal opens, they must act fast, or they could cause a disaster that might destroy both the moon and earth. They complete the spell and succeed in connecting with the moon, but just when success seems close, Max suddenly changes her mind. She knocks Freddy and the others down, showing that she still holds a grudge against the moon creatures and wants revenge. Meanwhile, chaos breaks out on Earth as everything gets thrown out of balance. At that moment, Max transforms back into her wolf form, craving even more power. Freddy tries hard to stop her, but she has become incredibly strong, and she beats Freddy brutally. It looks like she might win. Just when things seem hopeless, Freddy's friends show up to help him. They distract Max with some clever tricks, including a surprise burst of gas from one of them that catches her off guard. In the meantime, Flashert and the other big wolves arrive too, but Max quickly regains her focus and uses her magic to trap them all with her powerful spells, forcing them to kneel before her. In the heat of the battle, Batty calls her bat friend, who arrives just in time to help. Meanwhile, Mopo reaches the portal and starts to regain his energy, but Max won't let him succeed and tries to block him. Freddy, determined to help, jumps into the chaos and attacks Max with his new spell. Max thinks he is just new to this evil power, but Freddy unexpectedly turns Max into a frog. However, things take a dark turn when Mopo absorbs too much energy, causing a huge explosion from the ground. To everyone's shock, Mopo transforms into a gigantic, monstrous version of himself, overwhelmed by his newfound power and filled with wild power. This frightening change made him go on a rampage, destroying everything in sight. Freddy, desperate to help, started singing a song. Amazingly, Mopo calmed down and realized the chaos he was causing. With a clear mind, he used his last bit of strength to start closing the portal to save everyone. But soon, the group noticed that Mopo was getting weaker and wouldn't be able to finish the job alone. In a brave move, Freddy gave all his energy to Mopo so he could go back home. As Freddy used up his energy, he turned back into a human. Mopo, feeling thankful, expressed his gratitude to Freddy for everything. With Freddy's sacrifice, Mopo made it back to the moon, where his mother joyfully welcomed him. Meanwhile, Freddy felt sad, knowing he might never turn into a wolf again. In a touching moment, Mopo asked the moon creatures to give Freddy his powers back. The creatures also agreed, and Freddy was able to transform into a wolf again. For his heroic action, he finally earned the respect of the whole group, and just like that, the fantastic movie ends here. If you enjoyed the film, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you.